pros and cons of living in Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanted to go over the pros and cons of living in Summerlin. As you know, I am your local Summerlin expert, but before we get started, let's do some housekeeping here. Just kidding. <laughs> no, seriously. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe because I like to talk a lot about Summerlin and a lot about Las Vegas neighborhoods. So let's get started. Summerlin is consistently ranked as one of the best places to live in Las Vegas and in the state of Nevada, and for plenty of good reasons. It is the largest master plan community along the western rim of the valley, shadowing the Spring Mountain Range and Red Rock National Conservation. But before moving to any neighborhood, it's always good to weigh the pros and cons of that area before you make that big decision. And if you ask any resident in Summerlin, I'm sure they would say that the pros outweigh any of the cons. Summerlin is an amazing master plan community, but it's not for everyone. So before you decide to move to Summerlin, make sure you know the pros and cons of this awesome community. So I'm gonna start out with the cons. Let's go with the cons because it's short and it's easy and and then we'll go into the pros. And the number one con about living in Summerlin is that the home prices tend to be a lot higher than the average medium price here in Las Vegas. And two is that it's a little more expensive. The cost of living is a little more expensive over here as well. And the number three con is that it's a little further away from the Las Vegas Strip and the airport, if that's your thing. If you wanna be close to the airport and the Strip, then Summerlin's about 25, 30 minutes away, depending on what part of Summerlin you live in. I personally prefer to be as far away from the Las Vegas Strip as possible, but some people like that closeness and they also like to be close to the airport. And the last con for me um, is the public transportation. While there is some public transportation here in Summerlin, it's pretty lacking. And unless you live in a certain village, you are going to have to rely on your car and drive everywhere. So that's it for the cons for me personally. Okay. Um, I'm sure there are a few more, but I couldn't think of any other cons about living in Summerlin. So next I'm going to go over the pros of living in Summerlin. And number one is Summerlin schools tend to be better than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. Summerlin has more than two dozen schools, including 11 nationally recognized private schools. And number two, is shopping conveniences. There are so many shopping conveniences in Summerlin. You have downtown Summerlin, Boca Park, Tivoli Village, and scattered throughout the whole entire Summerlin community, there's other little shopping centers. And number three is there's always something to do here in Summerlin. Whether you wanna go hiking in the trails or go to Red Rock Canyon, or go to downtown Summerlin, City National Arena, Las Vegas ballpark, bars, restaurants, the list, parks, that list is endless. There's always something to do here in Summerlin. And number four is Summerlin has the best parks in the entire Las Vegas Valley. They have about 250 plus parks. However, within each of the Summerlin villages, they have some major parks with splash pads, volleyball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, pickleball courts. The list is endless of all the amenities and also baseball fields. The list of the amenities of parks is endless here in Summerlin. Number five is an abundant outdoor recreation. I mentioned the 150 miles of trails, the golf courses, Road Rock Canyon National Conservation is close by. Um, then you also have, what else outdoor? The parks, the pools, the golf courses. There's so much outdoor activities you can enjoy in the Summerlin area. And number six is the weather in Summerlin is cooler. Believe it or not, 
Summerlin is around 3,500 to 4,500 degrees above elevation. So it sits on the Western Rim. So the temperatures can be anywhere between four to seven degree difference than from Henderson or down in the Las Vegas area. Number seven is the exceptional quality of life. Not only do you have all those outdoor amenities, the great schools, but we also have five 55 plus active adult retirement communities. So the quality of life here is great. And number eight is strong real estate values. Yes, Summerlin homes tend to be more expensive than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. However, those values tend to uphold stronger than anywhere else as well. Because you're living in such an awesome master plan community where it's very popular and people want to live in, those values tend to uphold longer or stronger than anywhere else. And that's it. That's my pros and cons for living in Summerlin. Obviously, there was not many cons for me. The number one con, again, is the um, how expensive the homes are in Summerlin. But other than that, that's not a lot. This, it's just really not a lot. They don't say location, location, location three times for a reason. Living in Summerlin is a great place for families, retirees, and professional alike. If you're thinking about buying a home here in the Summerlin area, I am your local Summerlin expert. I sell a lot of resale and new construction homes in Summerlin. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. You can also check me out on YouTube where I've gone over all the different benefits of living in Summerlin and also check out my website at summerlincommunities.com where there's a plethora of information for you guys to do research on all the different villages of Summerlin and what Summerlin has to offer. Let me know in the comments what you think of my pros and cons of living in Summerlin and if you have your own pros and cons that I did not go over. As always, if you like this channel or if you like this video, be sure to you know hit that thumbs up button. Uh, make sure, most importantly, that you subscribe and share with friends. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.